Yo, 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 what's good, y'all? Welcome back to another orgasmic whew, edition of Manga After Dark. You know what time it is. I'm here. You're here. One Piece is here. Pirate hour. It's pirate fucking hour at a reasonable time of the day. Shout out to TCB Scans. One Piece chapter 1044 is out. Last chapter, you know, Oda teased the tip. With the, the Joy Boy shit, you know, so... And I already see the title of the chapter says, Warrior Liberation. Some shit might happen, man. Like... Like, this Joy Boy Luffy shit might be crazy. Then, you know, like, however Luffy's... Whatever happened in Luffy's Devil Fruit, whether it be Awakening... Uh, I see people speculate that it's like... It's a dip, It's like Oda lied about what the fruit's name was or whatever... But we'll see. But so let's dive into chapter 1044. Warrior a liberation. <laughs> so German 66 Cold Blooded Voyage Volume 8. Mama's out to sea. Let's start our research. So they have fucking uh Yonji and uh Ichiji. They're uh, no Yonji and Niji that are pinned down and like that little girl with the knife is about to like cut them up and the rest of the Charlotte family are just watching on. Oven's like, catch y'all later. So again, I'm guessing Pudding comes in and saves all of them. But let's dive into the chapter. A resounding pulse. ba bump What's happening? How can I still stand? I just lost. But I feel like I'm having a blast. Ah ha ha ha. So this is Luffy. Doom dud. Dot. And there's like Conqueror's Hockey emitting from Luffy as he's on the ground and he's laughing. So this is Momonosuke, Doom. So then the sound's going Doom, Doot, Da, Da. So this is Momo. Luffy is Joy Boy. Then uh, Yamato, Zanisha said that. Scene transition. Pleasure Hall, Right Brain Tower. Ga, Kya. Sir Pirate, you're awake. So this is Sanji and the random chick. Sanji Pant. Pant Luffy. So Sanji's observation hockey. Does he have Conqueror's hockey? I don't know. All the special the live floor. So you got Fire Story Kid. What the? And Law's looking up. Yo, girl, is that Straw Hat? Is that Sir Straw Hat? Marco, Straw Hat. So all the people with Conqueror's hockey can sense that he's still alive. Then Marco, hey, you two, he's still breathing. Then Nami, Luffy's still alive. You gotta, uh, you gotta be uh, okay, right? Big bro said Otama. Holy land. Uh-oh. <laughs> Holy land, Mary Joyce. We sacrificed one of our best agents and enraged the Kaido. The Hall of Power, Pangea Castle. Are we sure our priorities are straight? So this is the girl say. This may be better than the alternative. It's imperative that we snuff out something this problematic. Then Gandhi goes... No matter the era, the world government has always failed to acquire the Gomu Gomu fruit. These dudes suck. Even after 800 years of trying, it's almost it's almost as if the fruit itself is evading us. Well, it's well that's not possible. Whoa, 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 whoa time out. I just skipped over something huge. These motherfuckers confirm that they're 800 years old? Or they're saying in general the world government has been after this fruit for 800 fucking years. How do people know lost fruit gives people immortality? Just saying. All zone fruits have a will of their own. Well, that's not possible. All zone fruits have a will of their own. This one carries the name of... What? Wait, 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 all zone fruits have a will of their own, and this one carries... So it's a mythical zone, and this one carries the name of a god. After all, the Gomu Gomu fruit really is a mythical zone. It's the human human fruit model Nika. <laughs> Nigga! Ah ha 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 ha! Doom da da da, doom da da da. If the user's body gains the properties of 
if the user's body gains the properties of rubber in combat, they're supposedly only limited by their imagination putting smiles on faces. Far and wide, they are the embodiment of the warrior of liberation, Sun God Nika. Awaking exponentially strengthens their rubbery body and they have even more freedom. It is allegedly the most ridiculous power in the world. So a lot of people made threats about if Oda's reveals that the Gomu Gomu no Mi was some special fruit that it's officially trash and they'll drop the series. Curious to see if they'll do that. We'll see. We'll see. A lot of people will say, oh, no, Oda would never do something like that. <laughs> Mythical zone. So I'm guessing the encyclopedia, they probably changed, like, I'm assuming the Gomu Gomu Ni is in the encyclopedia. So they probably edited the text in the book. Because obviously they wouldn't put, oh, it's actually a mythical zone fruit. And if you eat it and you gain the properties of rubber, you become the sun god. Whatever. And you get the most ridiculous power in the world. You see a, a crack of black lightning behind. Treasure repository second floor. He, 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 Ori. I really admired Odin. Think about what you're doing. <laughs> the fuck? It was all Kaido. He was using me. We can still run away together. Just remove these nails and... You spat in the face of the samurai you owed. Who would still believe in you, said Hiori. The Orochi continues. No, so this is to Hiori. My father kept his promise, did he not? He danced like a fool for five long years because he thought... You and Kaido would honor the secret arrangement you made and free Wano. He never even told his own family. My father was a man who kept his word, and Orochi's looking shocked. He still expected the same of you uh, when you agreed to let them go. If he was stood being bold for an entire hour, even while his body was being burned by the oil, despite all, despite it all he always smiled. Always. And Orochi's looking on shocked. I can't even fathom my father's suffering. He had to shoulder the burden by himself because the entire nation was your hostage. Then Hiori's shivering and she's thinking. So this is a flashback. What's the matter, Hiori? Father, are you really okay with what everyone says about you? And Odin goes, of course I am. You know why? Because I have you guys. Hiori, really? Then I swear I'll always be, he be here for you. Oh yes, I've always said Odin was a great samurai, said Orochi. As Shogun, I can ensure his legacy is recognized. Your father, then Hiori drops the mask, clatter. Orochi's looking on. Hiori's crying. Hold your tongue, you miserable wretch. I am Kazuki Hiori. Orochi goes, eek! I was always proud to carry my father's name, even when I was starving and covered in rags. You, on the other hand, never had a trace of honor. Every day you were shogun was one too many. And as each day passed, more and more lives were lost. Then Rochi, wait, stop, Yamiro! Don't, uh, don't do something you're going to regret. Seeking revenge is a dated ideology, you know. Besides, killing me makes no difference. Kaido will still be unbeatable. Then we got the fire spirit thing. Orochi-sama... Huh? I have failed. Is is that you, Kanjiro? This is far as I go. Your timing is impeccable. This is the ideal stage for your real final performance. Burn that woman to ash. Go on. Take her. Go fa fa fa. The failed revenge of a shrew 20 years in the making. It's the perfect title for this tragic comedy. Take a look, Hiori. A Kazuki survivor should know that fortune favors the mighty. Orochi Saba, that's the wrong way. Huh? So fuck it. So Kanjo just went right into Orochi and set Orochi afire. Yeah. Then, <laughs> then fucking Hiori, the dawn will come. Kanjiro, you idiot. Hiori, save me. It burns. 
the Kazuki clan always keeps its promise. Doom da 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 doom da 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 so, so the sounds are still emanating from the rooftop. I feel like anything's possible now. I can keep fighting a bit longer. My heartbeat sounds so this is Luffy. So there's like something so it's like a little arch coming from the top of his shoulders. His arms are more stringier. Doom da da da. This is my peak. This is Gear Fifth. This is my peak. This is Gear Fifth. They got crackles of lightning. So, about to do some nasty, y'all. Oda, <laughs> Oda's about to give us some nasty. So you got Kaido's in the floor, and you see the lightning from the ceiling, and Kyle's looking up. And the people on the ground screaming, "What?" Yo, girl, what? And see, Conqueror's Hockey's knocking down everyone. Kaido, hey, you guys. What the hell is all of that? It's on the roof. Then got more Conqueror's Hockey oozing from the rooftop. Hey, wh what's happening? Conqueror's Hockey? Where is it? Where is it? As I saw that, a giant fist just grabs Kaido by the fucking trunk. Kaido goes, what? And grab. You got Law looking shocked. Kid Straw Hat. Chopper Luffy. Luffy looking cool with the new hair design with the smile. And he's just yanking Kaido up the hole. And the fighter goes, Kaido son. And yeah, Luffy just yanks his ass straight up. Come back here, bitch. It's time. Ah, and he's like squeezing him tighter and his other arms is blowing up. Luffy, oh, this is a pretty cool looking form. Luffy, she, she, she. And he's just spinning Kaido. Take this. Arg. And he's just spinning and he's slamming Kaido on the ground. Ugh. Like slam, slam, slam. And Kaido throws a blast breath at Luffy. And he's still laughing. Luffy has Toon Force. Yo. So Luffy's eyes pop out of his skull and his tongue it shoots out of his mouth. Luffy has fucking Toon Force. Yo, this is pretty cool. Oh, I missed some panels. So as Kaido got smashed to the ground, Pant, ha 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 ha, then Kaido, Straw Hat, you're still alive. I'm grateful. Then he fires the blast breath at Kai at Luffy. Then Luffy just, he grabs the, he labs, grabs the ground and it's like malleable and he pulls it up. Rubber World, yep. We got Rubber World. So Luffy has fucking Toon Force. Like this fucking, uh, Peg one of Pegasus's cards from Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, and he fucking pulled the ground up to block the bass breath. And Luffy goes, ugh. As he's pulling up the ground. Go. And the whole thing explodes. Kaboom. This is pretty dope. So the steam uh, makes like the arches on Luffy's uh, shoulders and his hair is like whited out. I'm guessing that's also steam as well. Luffy, ah, <laughs> gear fifth. Sorry about that idiot from before. I didn't want to win like that. Then Luffy, don't sweat it. Now let's finish this. The bow reaches its finale. Next issue, cover and color spread. Chapter 1044 end. Gear fifth Luffy. The Gomu Gomu no Mi is a mythical zone. Human human fruit model sun god Nika. Alright, so let's look at so in the color panels his hair is on fire. It's pretty dope. That's a pretty dope design. Odo's in his bag with this. Toon Force Luffy. This is pretty dope. Yeah, I'm curious to see what the community's reaction is. So this is like a pivotal One Piece chapter. This is a seminal chapter of One Piece. Um, this is like arguably one of the biggest reveals, arguably the biggest reveal in the entire story. March 24th, I guess this is not the official date of the chapter, but this is a pivotal moment in One Piece world, all right? For the sake of the reveals alone, you gotta give this shit a 10 out of 10, like... The true name of the Gumu Gumu no Mi got revealed. The Straw Hats have two human human fruit users. Shout out to Chopper and Luffy. Um, 
But yeah, that's a absurd, absurdly crazy reveal. The girl says like, yo, this is the most dangerous fruit. It's always been avoiding us for 800 years. Possible confirmation that the girls have been alive for 800 years. Gear fifth, Gummo Gummo Ni name. Kaido and Luffy are about to have their final battle. Man. Orochi's finally dead. Fuck that nigga. Son God nigga. Like, man. This chapter is crazy. Be yeah, a 10 out of 10 chapter. Let me know what y'all think about the reveal of uh, the true form of the Gummo Gummo no Mi. And also, I'm curious. Is Gear. It, would, is So, will, when Luffy deactivates Gear 5th, will that. I'm assuming he's just gonna go back to his base form, but is all of his sun god abilities only in gear fifth, or will he slowly learn that his fruit, his gears are just like his way to use his fruit, and it's like he can just use do all of this stuff normally? Because according to the girl, say if you have this fruit, you can just do whatever the fuck you want. Let me look at their exact wording of how they describe the fruit. Um, let's see. Yeah, so it's uh, the awakening exponentially strengthens their rubbery body, and they have even more freedom. It's allegedly the rid most ridiculous power in the world. And we see Luffy's eyes popped out of his skull. Toon Force, the motherfucker has Toon Force. And he was able, and obviously it's an awakening, so he's able to turn the ground into rubber. And he was able to bend it. Um, so I'm curious to see how Luffy used it defensively. Because uh, if you could just change the shape of his body, then blunt damage should be nothing to Luffy at this point. With his observation the way it is, observation hockey at the point it is, and even with his armament hockey, blunt damage, Luffy should just be able to, like, I'm just going to bend my body and make it as soft as possible to take the least amount of damage. And even if you do hit me, well, even, even if that softening doesn't work, I have future sight. That doesn't work. I have armament hockey. I can just combine all of them to make an ultimate defense. So I'm curious to see what Luffy does with this. Cause since it's the most ridiculous power in the world, the girls say are shitting them shitting themselves. They sacrificed a CP0 agent for the hopes of killing Luffy, so Luffy's about to go off. We're about to see officially Yonko Luffy. This is a Yonko crew now. Zoro's a Yonko commander legitimately. Sanji's a Yonko commander legitimately. I think Jembe's right up there at least with like Jack. However strong you think Jack is, I think Jinbei's approximately that strong. So I think Jinbei's a Yonko commander caliber dude. If Yamato joins the crew, they're also a Yonko commander caliber fighter. Um, Chopper made Queen bleed, so... I mean... We might be sleeping on Tony Tony. Um, but the Straw Hats are a legit Yonko crew. Like, after this fight... I mean, how much longer does One Piece got? Like, if Oda wants to go Luffy after this fight, Luffy Blackbeard. Is that really that crazy? I don't think so. If Luffy can legit take down Kaido, I mean, obviously, it's not a true... It's hard to tell because Kaido took damage and Luffy took damage. So it's hard to tell how level the playing field is, logically-wise. Um, but in manga logic, once Luffy wins this fight by midway through the next arc... He'll be legitimately stronger than Kaido, or at least as strong as Kaido. How much longer does the story got? I mean, like, if Luffy's legit a Yonko caliber fighter, Blackbeard gotta be nasty. Like, it, like, what more does Oda have to do to stack the deck against Luffy at this point? Like, what is Blackbeard gonna do to make, like, it be like, holy shit, how's Luffy gonna win? Because honestly, right, looking at this right now, Luffy, Luffy and Blackbeard, I think it's a toss-up. Like, I don't think it's so heavily skewed in Blackbeard's favor to where it doesn't make sense for Luffy to win. No, not at all. If they fought right now, and if Luffy won, I don't think it's strange. I, don't, I wouldn't think it's bullshit. I just don't. So I need to see what else Blackbeard does to tip the scales in his favor. Uh, because as we see right now, especially with the reveal of the Gum Gum No Me being this really stupidly overpowered dumb devil fruit man slack stop bugging me man i'm off i'm off the clock um but yeah especially with the going going be being revealed as being this a crazy powerful fruit i don't think blackbeard has a advantage over luffy right now i just don't so i'm curious to see how blackbeard stacks the deck further on his side so 
But 10 out of 10 chapter. This is a crazy review. So let me know what y'all think about the chapter. Make sure to like the video. Uh, subscribe if you haven't. Peace out. Manga After Dark out.